Welcome back to Five Talk Street. I'm Vince Sims. February is Black History Month, and there is a very unique experience in a mesquite shopping center that is dedicated to the history of black women in America. It's called the Black Girl Magic Museum. Joining me now is Dominique Hamilton. She is the owner of that museum. Dominique, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me, Vince. You are welcome. This sounds awesome. So tell us, what is this museum? So we are an interactive immersive pop-up museum where you could come and take all the photos you love and you know that photo op for Instagram while having a great time learning about the black women who have paved the way for so many of us in history. Now I know that the museum, the Black Girl Museum, is focused on diversity, representation, education, even mentorship. Uh, why is this so important to you and to express this in the museum? I believe it's very important due to the fact that so many black young girls, especially, they feel like they don't have a voice and they don't see themselves a lot when you think about, you know, plat different platforms. And then also with the mentorship, I have partnered with so many organizations in the DFW area that cater to young women. And they have told me over and over again, seeing something like this, a safe face, a safe space place for black women and girls to be able to come to and to see themselves on the walls, on the magazines, books we have inside of the museum, and also see the great things that black women have done in history. So walk me through a little bit. What are some of the things that you actually see within the museum? Yes, one of my favorite rooms is the Hidden Figures Room, where we have Katherine Johnson, Mae Jemerson inside of the room. When we talk about, you know, um, the spirits, disparities in STEM, we're able to show Black girls and just anyone, women in general, that there are so many women before us that have paved the way in STEM. And this is actually something that we can do if it's through, you know, we're already scientists and, you know, innovators through, you know, our hair, through our music, through, you know, a lot of things that we do in day to day. And we're showing them on a greater platform that you literally can be anything. And then also we have our dance room. You know, you can't talk about, you know, the culture without talking about, you know, dance culture, black culture. And we're able to spot like the great women like Missy Copeland and Simone Biles, who is actually from Texas, that are inside of the rooms. And I think in the last couple of weeks, a fan favorite has been, this is not a moment, it's a movement, where we highlight the lights of Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, Shirley Chisholm, Ruby Bridges, Tamika Mallory, you know, Angela Davis, which it was, you know, just so many black women that have paved the way through activism, through politics, by also being the first, like with Ruby Bridges, she was the first black woman to integrate the schools in Louisiana. And letting girls know that there's been so many women that have paved the way for us to be and to do the things that we have done. I, I see the fun aspect to it. We obviously see the educational aspect, but going through this museum can even take you on an emotional journey as well, correct? Absolutely. Um, one of our greatest rooms is the Say My Name room, which is actually one of my favorites. You know, having a name as Dominique, you know, a lot of people, oh, that's a boy name or pronouncing it incorrectly. And I've heard so many stories of women who have had so much trauma um, associated with their names and the history that they have went through and being able to uh, overcome the trauma that's associated with their names. Because a lot of us, you know, we talk about, you know, being ashamed or uncomfortable to correct anyone. And we allow them to take their power back from anything that someone has said about their name. We have a wall that's called leave it on the wall. So if that's a comment, a slur, anything that you have allowed someone to take your power, we teach you that your name is your power, your legacy and your spirit. So we take that back and we also tell women, all women, uh, would leave it on the wall that, you know, sometimes people come in the room and they see that the wall is full. And we say, you know, we have a ladder in there. So if you even got to climb on that ladder and to create the space, because we're told so much that there's no room for us, there's no space for us at the table. And we're breaking those, you know, myths that so many people have told us. And it has been so impactful. And then the other room is the, I am not my hair, you know, with the Crown Act being passed in so many states and bringing recognition that, our hair shouldn't be up to up for discussion for anyone in the classrooms, you know, in the workplace. And just hearing those stories of women that have 
had, you know, trauma related to their hair in our communities and also in other communities and saying that we're not our hair, we're not our skin, we're not our expectations, uh, anyone's expectations. And kind of like what NDRE said in her song, and we try to let them know that you can love your hair, love who you are, no matter how you wear your hair or how you decide to say your name. I know this is about the black girl magic and a lot of current things happening, but this is Black History Month. So are you going to have exhibits? Are you changing up anything dedicated specifically for this month? Yes, we're adding for our we have a representation wall that we're adding so many phenomenal women in the DFW area that have made an impact in our lives and also in our communities. We also have added Erica Badu to our exhibit. You know, she's from Dallas, Fort Worth. And then we just have different exhibits to, you know, pay homage to so many people that have paved the way in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. And uh, give us briefly that I know that during the pandemic now, but you take precautions, how people can uh, get more information and what you do there. Absolutely. So we only allow 25 people per hour. We set hand sanitize at the door. We also temperature check and we only allow one party per exhibit inside of the establishment. All right, Dominique, thank you so much.